Today, we are standing out here for 17 minutes to pay our respect for those 17 lives lost. Some people were here for gun control or maybe for mental health screenings or just to mourn these people who lost their lives. I stand before you today not with tears, but with pride. I refuse to let this generation be known for Snapchat streaks. I stand with Parkland. I stand with all victims of gun violence. It is better to light a candle than curse the darkness. Millions of students making their voices heard, sometimes with a chant, other times without saying a word. A historic day here in Metro Atlanta and all across the country. The goal to better protect kids in a place they should be safe, our schools. That's right. Now, this is a message we've heard many times before, but this time is students all across the country on a united front like we've never seen before. It's being fueled by the school massacre in Parkland, Florida that left 17 people dead. The proof in your social media feed this evening with this Snapchat map helping put a visual on the 3,000 protests held today nationwide. Now the topic uh, has dominated conversations in classrooms and also dinner tables since those 17 students and staff members were killed in South Florida last month. And our digital coverage reaching more than 125,000 people online today. Mm -hmm. Now tonight, we have an entire team digging into this issue very deeply, affecting so many families here in Georgia. We're going to start with Joe Henke live at Grady High School, where hundreds of students walked out today in that show of solidarity. Joe? Well, Cheryl and Ron, Grady High School is just one of several Atlanta public schools which participated in the walkouts today. Grady students walked to the football field here at the school where they held a short program first to remember the victims of school violence, uh, gun violence in our schools, and also to demand stricter gun laws. As they walked onto their school's football field at a few minutes past 10 a.m., Grady High School students held a moment of silence as they remembered the victims of the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School shooting. It's been exactly one month since the school shooting in Parkland, Florida. Today, we are standing out here for 17 minutes to pay our respect for those 17 lives lost. Student leaders organized today's walkout and spoke with the goal of keeping the story of Parkland, Florida alive. I'm so proud to be a part of this generation because we refuse to sit down or be desensitized to the to the tragic loss. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. Then they walked twice around the school's track to demand Congress make changes to gun laws with the hope of bringing an end to school shootings. I think it was really powerful just seeing everyone actually come together for some, like a common cause that is for us and that will protect us. The students who brought their school together today say this is only the first step tomorrow and in the days ahead. And several teachers and parents joined the students here at Grady High School in the nearby neighborhood of Virginia Highlands. APS's uh, Superintendent Maria Karstarfin joined students at Inman Middle School to show her support for the demonstrations. Reporting uh, outside Grady High School tonight, I'm Joe Henke, 11 Alive News.